Well, greetings, viewers and voyeurs with Got That Funk. I am in a pub at the moment because I currently don't have internet access where I live. So here I am in a pub. And I'm making a video response to my friend Tommy from the Bronx. Tommy made a video directed at me the other day challenging me to ask him three questions. And he's going to ask me three questions in response. Anything I want to ask, I can ask Tommy. And he's going to do the same with me. Um, now, Tommy, before I get started with the questions part of the video, um, in your video to me, you said I caught you in the comment section of another video. Yeah, the video was Mr. Repsion, and uh, you said I told you to make more fucking videos. I mean, come on, Tommy. Everybody knows I don't talk like that. I believe my exact words were, make more videos or face my wrath. And clearly, the prospect of the wrath of the funk made you quiver tremble and shake. So thanks for the props, Tommy, for uh, coming back at me with a video so quickly. Uh, it gives me an inflated sense of self-importance. Anyway, uh, down to the questions. Uh, right, question number one is kind of a, a, a softball question, really. It's a getting to know you kind of a question, Tommy. Uh, anybody worthy of any respect, which I feel towards you, um, tends to have a pretty broad taste in music. And uh, I'm very curious, Tommy, uh, you know, how has your taste of music evolved over your lifetime? What kind of music did you like when you were a kid, uh, going into adolescence as well? What kind of bands did you go to see live when you were younger? Do you still go to see live bands? Uh, how has your musical taste evolved over the course of your life? Do you still listen to the same shit you were listening to when you were a kid? Or have you stayed up with the times and kept up with modern music? Uh, you know, just tell me what kind of music Tommy from the Bronx digs, and why, and when. I'd be really interested to find out. So that's my sort of getting to know you question. My next question is a bit more of a whimsical question, but I think it'd be entertaining to see what you have to say. If you could be reincarnated as anyone living or dead, except for someone you know, who would you be reincarnated as and why? Now keep in mind, Tommy, that to be reincarnated as this person, you couldn't do different things with their life. You'd have to live their life exactly the same way that they lived it. And if they're dead, you'd have to die exactly the same way that they died. So like if you picked Elvis, for example, you'd have to do the whole trip, including the, the death and everything like that. Um, the reason I say you can't pick someone that you know, Tommy, is because I know what you're like, buddy. You'd say, oh, I pick my wife because then I'd know what it was like to be married to the greatest man on earth. So, um, yeah, you can't pick anybody that you know, because uh, that would just be too damned easy. Right, uh, so yeah, uh, let me know how you uh, how you would answer that one, I'd be very curious. Now, last but not least, and uh, you may or may not fancy this as a hardball question, but uh, basically here it goes. What's the one thing in your life that you've done to someone else that's made you the most ashamed of yourself? What's the worst thing you've ever done to somebody? And I'm not talking about beating them up or anything like that, unless that happens to be what made you the most ashamed of yourself. But what is the worst thing you've done to someone to hurt them both emotionally and in any other way? And why did you do it? How, if ever, did you try to make amends? Okay, those are my three questions, Tommy. Have fun with those, and um, I look forward to seeing what you've got for me, buddy. And to all of you who watch this video, I appreciate your company here on YouTube, and I look forward to more. Thank you for watching this video, and until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.